Okay folks, here we go. We're getting on the freeway and um, got a lot of funny stuff to tell you. I debated another atheist. He lost the debate, as always. And um, But I want to tell you something uh, about, let's talk about Osama bin Laden. And we're also going <laughs> to talk to you about how this atheist admitted God exists in the debate I had with him. Yes, he did. Now, let me... Thanks, man. Let me get over here without getting squished. Okay, it's picking up speed. Here we go. Very cold and windy today in California. It must be that global warming we all, we all hear about. Um, okay, before I tell you the Osama Bin Laden thing that I find pretty funny, what Obama said, let me tell you about this very uh, popular drink that is making its rounds here in California. It's called the Osama Bin Laden. It's basically two shots and a splash of water. You'll get that joke in about 30 seconds. But we're going to be switching freeways here, getting on a very high speed freeway. Very, very high speed freeway on the right here. Uh, I have the mirror visor on if you look here to the left. How you doing, folks? It is I, your humble sinner saved by grace. And um, so I got the mirror visor on. The sun's behind the clouds. Maybe it'll come out when I start riding. But let's talk about something funny. <laughs> I think it's funny that Obama said, not Osama, the terrorist, but Obama, our president. Go get, those, go get those two people mixed up. Okay, after um, the SEALs, special forces, after the SEALs went in and took out Osama, two shots of a splash of water, um, as you know, a lot of people are like, well, we want to see the picture. We want to see if it really happened. Now, this is the part to me that just this is absolutely hilarious. Obama, with his approval, sends in the SEALs. <clears throat> These guys, very trained, very well trained to go in and kill the enemy. So he sends them in. Obama gave them the approval to do it. They swoop down there on the helicopter, crash on Osama's lawn, or should I say dirt yard? I didn't see any lawn or grass, they're just dirt. Pick it up speed, here we go. And they rush in the house and they shoot Osama. They shoot him, okay? They shoot and kill Osama. Now here's here's the part which is just bizarre to me. What it, pick it up speed, this is the fast part. Where, where our president of the United States, he ordered them to do this. Now, on a scale of one to 10, 10 being very strong, powerful attack, guns a blazing, they go in there and they take out Osama, right? I would say that's a 10, 10 being the most shocking, powerful attack, right? Now, <laughs> here's what doesn't make sense to me. Obama has no problem ordering the killing and assassination of Osama. But then when everyone's like, well, show us the picture, he's like, oh no, we're above that. <laughs> oh, you can't write comedy like this, folks. He's like, Look, we're going to go in there, we're going to kill Osama, we're going to shoot him in the head, we're going to do all this, and we're like, show us the photograph. Oh, no, no, no. What do you think we are, savages? We're above that. If you're going to... What's, what's more... What's more controversial, the picture or actually killing Osama? It's so hilarious. He has no problem killing Osama, which is, to me, the more shocking, provocative thing than taking a picture of him. But they would, 
he sends the troops in there, sends the SEALs in there, the SEALs do their job. I support them 100% by the way. And then when they're like, well show us proof of this, show us a picture, oh no no, we're above that. Oh bruh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, I see a motorcycle rider up here on the right, so let's zoom up there and get next to him if we can before he gets off. And let me tell you about this debate I had <laughs> with a sweet, lovable, huggly, huggable atheist. And this atheist was from the South. So I love the Southern atheists because there's nothing more interesting than hearing someone talk about Peace, brother. Phylogeny and evolution and intellectualism and atheism with the southern accent. <clears throat> so I love some country music. I'm not making fun of southern accent, but this guy comes in and there were two guys. There's well there's a bunch of people if you go right below the chat room the, with the video playing here, you can see the chat room. You can go in there now, there's a bunch of people debating. So I go in there from time to time because, um, as you know, I challenged the amazing atheist to a debate. He chickened out. Gave him three weeks to respond. He evolved into a chicken. I challenged non-stamp collector. He too chickened out. He evolved into a chicken. So I don't know who I'm going to uh, challenge next. Give me some ideas. I want to challenge someone that's willing to debate, not some wussy. But all the atheists tend to be wussy. So we had a wussy uh, in the chat room uh, yesterday, I believe. Yeah. And I went in there and I was just listening to everybody. I was being very, another motorcycle rider, very tolerant and stuff. There's another motorcycle rider up here. And, um, so I go in there, but this guy's like mouthing off. He's being very rude, I might add. So I couldn't take it anymore. So I finally got on the mic to talk to him. And I said, look, I challenge you to a debate right now. Are you willing to accept? And he did not want to debate. He goes, no, I don't want to debate because you're not going to listen to what I say. I go, you're going to have 20 minutes nonstop. He goes, but you're not going to agree with me. I say, so what? The only reason you're going to debate someone is if they agree with you? Let's catch up to the motorcycle rider here. Okay, guys, I'm going to tuck down to pick up speed so the wind goes over me. And let's, this guy's going pretty good, so let's see what, what he's on. So after the, the whole audience, right here below, shakanel.net, you'll see it there in the, the chat room when you go there. They're saying, yeah, we want to see the debate. I want to debate. I'm begging the guy. Come on, debate. Don't evolve into a chicken. And he evolved into a chicken, too. He was afraid to debate. He wouldn't debate me. He just would, he just wouldn't do it. But then there was another guy that said, well, I'll debate you. Hey, I kind of went by too fast. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the guy. He's getting off. Let's see if he's getting off. Yeah, he's getting off. So there we go. So as that southern guy said, I'll debate you. Thing, and he spit some tobacco in this spittle thing. So I go, okay. So I go, take 20 minutes giving us some good arguments why we should believe atheism is even true, accurate, or correct. Because I believe it's a, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? As I tap my finger to my formerly Bible-speaking mouth here, I believe atheism is a bunch of crapola. And all the atheists are afraid to debate, right? So, he, I said, go ahead and I'll give you 20 minutes. If you need more time, I'll give it to you. So he gets on and he says, well, because God knows everything, how could we have free will? What? you get his error there? Because God is all-knowing, then we don't have free will. Look, if God knows that my tire is going to blow out right now and I'm going to crash all over the freeway, how does that mean I don't have free will? If God knows that the seals 
from the wonderful United States go in and they take out Osama with two shots and a splash of water, how does that mean we don't have free will? It was bizarre. Nobody in the room agreed. There were atheists saying, what are you talking about? Of course we have free will. So that was error number one. And then he said, he, he was talking about God and how God was evil. Now, if someone told you God is evil, the only thing I get out of that is we both agree that God exists, but they have a different opinion on God than I do. They're not giving any arguments why God doesn't exist. They're just saying he's evil. And they, I don't know why, but atheists are always mad about that Sodom and Gomorrah episode. I don't know why they're very upset about that episode. I don't get that. They seem to have a bad taste in their mouth from that episode. But anyways, so I brought this up. All right, the sun's coming out. Give it some throttle over down the right. So I brought this up with the atheist, and I wanted to see if he really believes God is evil, because if God's evil, then he exists. You don't hear people saying unicorns are evil. <laughs> or leprechaun. No, here's the thing. I said, look. Oh, uh, one more thing he said. He said, well, what about God when he takes people's lives? Like the Sodom and Gomorrah thing, etc. I was using an example. Well, look, I don't have the right to take someone's life. Uh, there's another motorcycle way up there, but he's way up there. We can let him go. I don't have the right, nor do you have the right, to break into someone's house and take their life. However, if I'm going down the freeway and God says, all right, shock, it's your time, and he decides to take my life, he's welcome to it. He's the author of life. He has the right to do it. I'm not the author of life. I don't have the right to do it. Neither do you, my friend. So I asked this atheist, and here's where he basically says God's evil, and he slips up. He admits that God exists. If God is evil, then you're admitting he exists. If God is evil, then you're admitting he exists. So the guy, I asked him, I said, I believe God was good, holy, righteous, and just to destroy the earth with the worldwide flood. Now, he didn't destroy everybody. He saved his remnant. What do you think on that? Let me put you through here, guys. Take a look. So I'm waiting for this guy. <laughs> I'm waiting for this guy to get on the mic. And I see him get on the mic and he goes, and he, and he says, well, of course God was evil. <laughs> oh, you can't write comedy like this. He said, well, of course God was evil for doing that. Well, why would you say that? Why would you say, well, God doesn't exist? See, the truth is, ladies and gentlemen, atheists are so angry at God because you know what? For centuries, they have been trying to disprove God exists, and they can't do it. In fact, it's gotten worse for atheism. You know that Sam Harris, Sam Harris is known as one of the four horsemen of atheism. He said that atheists now have, I was wondering what that noise is, it's that guy's motor sound. He said that atheists now have the worst reputation in society. It's true. Atheists now the least trusted group in society. So anyways, guys, how long have I been talking here? Hold on. I can't see with my jacket. Well, here's what I want you guys to do. Get some atheists that are not afraid to debate. Please, would you get some? Send them right here to shotgunout.net right below this video. www s-h-o-c-k-a-w-e-n-o-w.f you debate right there in the chat room you do have to have a microphone so we can hear you when you talk we are in there right now you will be hearing atheists <laughs> you'll be hearing atheists say yeah of course god is evil <laughs> oh god bless you guys you know you can't write comedy like this